الرحلة في طلب العلم هي سنة الأنبياء وأتباع الأنبياء فموسى عليه السلام رحل في طلب العلم وقصته مع الخضر معروفة وقد قصها الله عز وجل في سورة الكهف عندما رحل للبحث عن الخضر ولطلب العلم منه كما أرشده الله عز وجل الشيخ حفظه الله تعالى says traveling for seeking knowledge of the religion it is the sunnah it is the way and the method and the manner of the prophets and those who follow them and the story of Musa with Al-Khadr is, is, is well known as Allah who subhanahu wa ta'ala has related it to us in Surah Al-Kahf when Musa alayhi salatu wasalam he sought after Al-Khadr seeking knowledge and seeking to learn from him ومن أتباع الأنبياء سلمان الفارسي رضي الله عنه الصحابي الجليل المعروف وتعرفون قصته في بحثه عن الحقيقة عندما ذهب من راهب إلى كاهن إلى عابد كلهم يسألهم ويبحث عن الحقيقة حتى دل على خروج النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم في المدينة المنورة فهاجر من بلد إلى بلد وتنقل من مكان إلى مكان للبحث عن العلم وللبحث عن الحقيقة حتى هداه الله عز وجل وقابل النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم وأسلم وصار من كبار الصحابة رضي الله عنهم From the stories of the followers of the prophets is Salman al-Farisi رضي الله عنه the well-known companion and the noble companion of the prophet عليه الصلاة والسلام he says, you all know his story. Each and every one of you, he knows the story of Salman and how he left his home and how he traveled from place to place in search of guidance and in search of the true, the, the true religion and the true understanding and how he traveled from the monk until he got to the, the, the soothsayer, until he got to the worshiper. He went to place to place, from land to land in search of the reality and search of truth until he was told about the Prophet والسلام, in Al Medina. So he left his home and he left these places in search of the Messenger of Allah والسلام, until he met him in Al Medina with the companions and he accepted Islam and Allah guided him and he became from the most prominent of the companions after this. وهذه السنة جرى عليها كثير من العلماء من السلف والخلف إلى وقتنا هذا فيرحلون لطلب العلم ويتنقلون من بلد إلى بلد ويذهبون إلى لقاء العالم حتى ولو لطلب حديث واحد لأن هذا العلم غالي وهذا العلم عزيز وهذا العلم عظيم فيسعون في طلب العلم وفي تحصيل الحديث وفي تحصيل الحقيقة والبحث عنها ويتعبون في ذلك وفي سيرة السلف وعلماء السلف رحمهم الله قصص كثيرة في ذلك لا يتسع المقام لسردها وأنتم تعلمون بعضها وهي موجودة في مظانها كما في كتب التراجم والسير. The Sheikh Habib Allah Taala wants to say, and this Sunnah, in other words, the Sunnah of seeking ilm and traveling and undergoing hardships and difficulties for the search of knowledge, um, many scholars have treaded this path and they have followed this way. And they have adopted this methodology. Many scholars from the Salaf and the Khalaf, those of the ancient generations and of the past, the foremost generations of Al Islam, and those who came later on. He says, even to this day of ours, this practice is, 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 is present, it's continuous. These students and these scholars, they travel from country to country to meet the ulama and to meet the people of knowledge and to hear from them until the point it may be one hadith. One single narration, he will travel a very far distance just to obtain it and just to learn it. He says, and this is because knowledge is very costly and it's very precious and it's extremely valuable. Knowledge is valuable and it's, it's, it's extremely precious. He says they seek to obtain the knowledge of these scholars and to obtain this hadith that they know and to know the reality and the guidance. He says, um, and the life stories of the pious predecessors, you all know them. 
There are many stories in which the pious predecessors traveled and left their homes in search of knowledge, these great stories. And of course, we don't have the time to mention all of them, but they are well known to you, and maybe we can mention them in another time. وأرجو إن شاء الله أن تكونوا أنتم سرتم على هذه السنة وعلى هذه الطريقة وهي سنة الأنبياء وسنة أتباع الأنبياء من الصحابة والسلف فهنيئا لكم وأسأل الله عز وجل أن يحقق لكم مرادكم وأن يتقبل منكم وأن يوفقكم لما جئتم إليه الشيخ حفظ الله تعالى says and I hope um, if Allah wills I hope that you will be from those who tread this path, who tread this path, uh, and who adopt this method, traveling and seeking ilm, which is the way and the path of the prophets and their followers. So congratulations to you. Congratulations to you and bear the glad tidings of this, of being of those who travel this path. And I ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to actualize for you all of your goals and all of that which you may intend in this trip and in performing the Umrah and coming to this, to this land. الرحلة في طلب العلم فيها مشقة ولكن العلم لا ينال بالراحة وإنما ينال بالجهد قال الله عز وجل والذين جاهدوا فينا لنهدينهم سبلنا وإن الله لمع المحسنين والذين جاهدوا فينا لنهدينهم الهداية تأتي بعد المجاهدة فالإنسان لا بد أن يجتهد ولا بد أن يتعب حتى يحصل فإذا علم الله عز وجل صدقه وعلم أنه صادق فيما يطلب عند ذلك يوفقه الله عز وجل ويفتح له أبواب العلم. الشيخ حفظه الله تعالى states traveling or traveling to seek علم and traveling in general but especially to seek knowledge it is difficult is difficult and there are hardships in this path. But however, knowledge cannot be obtained by ease and comfort. Rather, it is binding that a person go through difficulties and hardships. And it and is, a, is a tough path. It is not easy. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, He mentions in the Qur'an, that which is translated to mean, and those who struggle hard for our sake, surely we will guide them. And Allah is with the muhsineen. Allah is with those who had ihsan and those who practice al ihsan. He says, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, pay attention to the verse and how he mentioned that the guidance comes after the mujahada, it comes after the struggling and the difficulties and the hardships. So, therefore, when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, so therefore, it is a must that a person be diligent and he, and he work hard, is, a, is binding that he exhaust himself and he tire himself in seeking ilm. So when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knows his sincerity, his sidq, and he's sincere, and he's truthful, and he's devout and seeking this ilm for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's pleasure, he will give him the tawfiq, he will give him the success, and he will grant him knowledge, and he will endow him with that which he is seeking.